YouTube. Today I'm going to show you 10 awesome studio tweaks for the iPod, iPhone, and iPad. So, here we go. So, let's see what the first tweak is. Bite of font. Okay. So, with bite of font, let's bring this over here. You can change the font of your iPods. Uh, uh, you can change the fonts on your iPod. Like you, you see where uh, it, where uh, okay, let's go to my okay, where it has the time, the uh, font is different. Well, with by font, that's how I changed it. Uh, so let's look for by font here. Here it is. Okay, so um, you can uh, change the uh, by font for each of these. Uh, the whole system simple. Simpleton is what I'm using right now. If, if you're wondering, it's called uh, Simpleton. S I M P L E T O N. If you can't see it there, so um, uh, so that's the first one. Let's look at the next tweak. Tether me. Tether me is a lot, if you've heard of why, my why, it's a lot like my why, except I think it's a little. I think it has it's a little better. Um, you can go to settings, and uh, it turns on the personal hotspot there. Uh, uh, normally, you'd have to buy the personal hotspot, but with uh, Tether Me, you can uh, get the personal hotspot for free. Uh, so you can just turn it on. The bad part about it is that you have to have a password with it. Um, actually, I, I do think you can, you have, all you have to do is take that password off, but uh, you can like uh, to take it off. I guess what you do is just do this. No, you can't do that. You have to have a password. So, uh, th there's my, uh, there's Tether Me. So, let's look at the next app. Barrel. Barrel is a pretty cool app. Uh, you see where it doesn't slide, it fades on mine? Well, that's what Barrel does. It, it changes the effect when you slide your phone. So, let's look for the settings for this app. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Uh, barrel. Here it is. Um, you can change the mode. You can do page fade. Uh, another one I thought was cool was um. I don't know, look for it here. Curl and roll away. Where it does this. Does this. So I thought that one was pretty cool. But uh, my favorite is page fade. You can. Uh, there's all kinds of different uh different way things you can change it to. So uh, the next. Let's look at the next app here. Gravity Board. This app is, is a fun uh, and interactive game. It, it's not really a game. It's more like an entertainment type thing. You can pick up apps and like move them around and stuff uh, on your home screen. It's just I, I just like to do it, play with, around with this for fun. So let's look at the settings for this. Oh yeah, you can open uh, apps with uh, while this is still on settings. It'll turn it off. It'll have that telling you it's turning off. Uh, gravity board. It tells you how to uh, how you're gonna activate it. How you can activate it. I, I put short hold. Um, let's see here. Uh, I should have turned on include dock. So that way you can take apps out of your dock. Um, uh, out of your favorite dock. Uh, you can change the uh, gravity. You could uh, put it to uh, moon, earth, anything like that. I'm gonna put it. I have to put it on uh, moon. And so you just hold it in, and they just like float around it's like they're on the moon or something. Oh no, they're floating away. Let's just like empty this page. Goodbye. But yeah, there's that. So hold it back in, and everything will come back. There we are. Okay, so let's go to the next. Oh, whoops! That that that, that does have have to happen a lot if you have it on short hold. So uh, next one is 3G Unrestrictor. This app is pretty cool. Oh, whoops! I oh never mind. Well, uh, 3G Unrestrictor. What it does is it puts it to where you can use apps that usually uh. uh where like if you can only do it with Wi-Fi, well you can you, when you get 3G unrestrictor, you can uh you can un you can put it to where you can use your 3G. Use it like if you're if you have iPhone 4, 
with FaceTime, if you're wanting to FaceTime, you uh, you couldn't. You'd have to have a Wi-Fi, so you wouldn't be able to do it in your car or something. Well, you could use 3G and restrictor and put it to where you can uh, FaceTime with uh, your 3G. I put it with the App Store too, so that way, if you have like a app that there were 20 MB, I'd be able to download it without Wi-Fi. So uh, let's go to the next app. Oops, Q Tweeter. Now, if uh. This is a good app for anyone that likes uh, Facebook or, Twi or Twitter. Uh, what it does is it lets you slide from the top and pull down, and you can f post to Facebook. Uh, let me try this here. Okay. And uh, I can equip this. Look what I got. Okay, so I do that. Can update my status. So, um, it does it really quick. So, that there, there you go. I just updated my status on Facebook. And so, let's go to the next one. Install us. It does have a source. Uh, HTTP, uh, semicolon, uh, slash, slash, forward slash, forward slash, theta dot hackulo dot us, forward slash. Um, install us for lets you download apps for free. Uh, let's look for it down here. Here it is. You can I can get any apps for free. Uh, so let me think of an app that might cost. Um, okay, uh, Angry Birds. Search. Oh, whoops. Spelled Angry Birds wrong. Here they are. Okay, I'll do Rio. That does cost on the App Store, but I'm getting ready to get it for free. If I can remember how to download. Let's see here. You, you want to download the file, dude. Uh, a file, dude, one. So here we are. Uh... You want to make sure you click on the uh, the small download uh, one right here. What the? Well, uh. Yeah, so if you if you're doing it, you'll probably uh, figure out what to do as you're going through. So um, there, uh, there's that for that, and there's install us for make it mine. This is uh, number four. No, I'm sorry, number three. Make it mine uh, up there where it says C A J. Those are my initials, Cooper Allen Jordan. Uh, I, you can put your initials, put whatever you want up there. I could put S S for shy skills. You could do something for your YouTube account. So that's pretty cool. Um, what you do is you just type in whatever you want. If I want to do SS, I can just do that. And then uh, you click on carry or something. Then you click respring. You, uh, ba banner is where it replaces your, uh, the time. And carrier is where it replaces, like, the, if, it, if you're using AT&T or Verizon, it changes that, uh, where it says it up there. So there's that. Okay, let's see here. The next, the next one is synchronicity. Or, whatever you want to call it. Synchronicity. I can't really pronounce it. What it does is it lets you download, uh, what it does is it lets you, um, uh, sync your phone in the background, and it'll, and, uh, it'll have, like, uh, it'll sync your, 
it'll let you play uh, use your phone while you're syncing your phone into iTunes. It'll have like a little uh, icon up here telling you it's syn it's syncing. And last but not least, number one, Clock Hide. Now uh, I didn't really put these in order from like best to least, ten being the least and one being the best. Uh, I use uh, you can use Clock Hide if you had the theme that ha that like put a like if you had a theme that uh, had a built-in clock, you could use Clock Hide to take out the clock and then and then when you put the theme in, uh, it would it would there won't be like two clocks on your uh, lock screen. So uh, that that would be useful for that for any of that re and for that reason. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.